my lovelies welcome back to my channel for those of you guys that are new welcome my name is pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what i do for those of you guys returning welcome back my loves here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs we're going to begin here with taurus sun moon rising venus as it is taurus season for those of you guys experiencing the return of the sun brightest of blessings my loves if you guys are interested in any of the services that we provide whether it's spell work consultations any of the spiritual workings that we do, you can find all of that on the link below. You can also find uh, any of our journals, our shadow book journal, um, any of the manifestation books. You can find all of that on the description link below. All right, let's begin. Let's see what Taurus can expect for the remainder of the month of May in regards to love and romance. Let's begin here. Spirit guides, ancestors. Ascended Masters, please step forward and guide us. Allow us to see, hear, sense, feel, and receive the messages loud and clearly for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Okay, here we go, Taurus. Let's see what's going on with you guys. All right, we're starting off here with the Two of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Three of Swords reversed. <coughs> okay, so what they're showing me here is for a lot of you, um, the person that you're dealing with, you may feel like it's still up in the air, meaning there is not much, there's not much of consistency happening right now. However, I do see that progressing. What they are showing me here is this person that you're dealing with maybe feel, um, a little uncertain in regards to if they're ready for a higher type of commitment, if they're ready to settle down. I see them in their head a bit. Um, and you probably notice if you feel like there's been a bit of inconsistency regarding communication, um, if they seem a little bit hot and cold, what they are showing me the, uh, here though, however, in regards to how they feel about you with the Hierophant, I feel like they're coming to the realization where, especially with the Three of Swords reverse, they're coming out of a situation of feeling like they weren't ready. Um, so that, that, could, that could have been the reason for the pulling away or pulling a bit back. I feel like it, what they're feeling for you could have scared them a bit. Um, and it made them question a lot. It made them question or wonder if they're even ready for some type of commitment, some type of relationship or even being vulnerable. However, I do see them at the end of the month realizing that they actually do have more feelings than they thought they would um, in regards to you. So I see their mentality shifting i see them changing and realizing you know what maybe i am ready and at this point in time let's not half-ass it let's see where it actually can progress where it can actually go um again with the three of swords i feel like this person was still healing or has been going through some type of healing energy where it could have been scary the moment they started to feel that you were actually getting closer to them or spending more time with them um, and this could have, like, like I said, kind of threw them off and made them question the bigger questions, right? Um, which is always ideal because if a person is uncertain, it's best for them to figure it out instead of leading you on. But I feel like there is going to be a turnaround in your situation as the month progresses where you start to see them be more present or be more active in their approach to you, Taurus, okay? All right, now when we're looking at the old flame, we have the Ace of Cups here, the Three of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. Okay, so the person from your past has obviously not moved on. They're still having feelings for you. They're still in their feelings about you. Um, in regards to why they feel this way, it could have been that they played a obviously a major role in the reason why you guys ended the situation. However, I do see you guys... And this could be for some of you guys, you've probably already experienced this, where you're going to be bumping into them. So this could be through like you're out and about or out in a social outing and you bump into them and then they try to open conversation. Um, I see them very proactive in regards to how they address you or how they come towards you. I do feel like they've been in their feelings a lot. And for a lot of you guys, especially because of uh, the eclipse season that we're still that we're still in as well as Chiron being an Aries there are certain attributes that they needed healing from that they're still going through that but I feel like there is some type of realization here where there is a feeling of wanting to recuperate or wanting to 
uh, ignite the flame to see if it's still there. So I do see them actually progressing into reaching out or trying to communicate with you. Uh, so basically the ball is going to be in your court, Taurus. And I'm going to be honest with a lot of you, Taurus, you guys are having a major glow up. Uh, so that could be the reason as well. Like I said, the ball is in your court, Taurus. <laughs> All right, moving on. Let's see what Gemini can expect for the remaining of the month in regards to love and romance. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. If you guys like these readings, like, share, and comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. All right, Gemini, so let's see what's going on. Gemini, Jupiter is going to be entering your sign. So a lot of expansion, a lot of growth here for you guys. Um, all right, here we go. So in regards to the new love, we have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Five of Swords and we have the Tower. Um, so there could have been some momentum that started to pick up. There could have been almost a feeling of Things were going rather quickly for some of you guys. It was like too good to be true. Unfortunately, I feel like it was too good to be true. With the Five of Swords here, uh, in regards to how they feel about you, there could have been a falling out or some type of misunderstanding where they're standing in their ego. There's not really momentum in regards to them wanting to reach out. I feel like they're being more stuck in their um, in their pride or in their ego. With the tower, there could have been massive transformation that they are experiencing or going through. I feel like what they're showing me is a lot of the things um, that you bring to the table, Gemini, could have been something that triggered them, meaning in past relationships, something that they had to work on. And they've refused to do that up until now. So I feel like that it could have been a situation where things were going really good and then all of a sudden you started to see inconsistency in them or even being aggressive in how they communicate or maybe even being a little bit disrespectful um and again this is because there is it's almost like there's a part of you that triggers them that challenges them almost a reminder like kind of forcing them to have to grow and expand to have to heal certain aspects and at this point in time they're just not ready to do that so my advice, Gemini, is keep it pushing with this new person, okay? Now, in regards to the old flame, we have the King of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. So I definitely do see that this person from your past still may reserve certain type of feelings for you, although maybe you haven't really seen them try or maybe even trying to contact you or communicate with you. However, I feel like as the month progresses, you will be hearing from them. And I feel like there's an apology coming where they're trying to resolve the issue with you or try to get in your good graces only to see if you're still open or willing to give them another opportunity. Now, if you guys have been married or this ex flame uh, or past flame was in connection like with you having children or stuff like that, I feel like they may use that as an excuse to try to get closer to you. However, I do feel like as the month progresses, they will be revealing their intentions and they will be revealing that they're wanting to give it another go if you're willing and able. Um, and again, I feel like if there was a family dynamic or a situation where you were with this person for quite a while, I feel like they're going to use the let's not give up on, you know, everything we've been through type of thing. Um, I do feel them genuine. However, uh, I would highly encourage you to remember what was the reason why there was a separation or a breakup only because we cannot go back to something if we're not willing to fix it or heal it okay all right my lovelies moving on here let's see what cancer can expect let's see what cancer can expect in regards to love and romance sun moon rising venus cancer sun moon rising venus for the remainder of may 2024 Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go, Cancer. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Empress and the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like there could have been a connection or the person that you're dealing with right now. It may feel a little bit standoffish or like maybe they're not really like being aggressive in the pursuit for you. 
However, I feel that the reason for that is because they're a little bit scared. They may have a tendency of being overprotective or like a bit jealous. And I feel that that's something they're trying to control. However, how they feel about you, they see you as the empress. So they definitely do see the value in you and they definitely do see you with respect or admiration, um, Cancer. And again, I feel like as the month progresses, they will be opening up a little bit more and maybe you're even starting to notice that there that there are certain things that when they get triggered or when they feel jealous um they try the best they can to come off as indifferent but in reality it's because they're trying to keep their feelings under surface so again pay attention to that because i do feel like as it progresses and this connection continues i feel like they will be getting to a point where they open up and actually communicate however for the remainder of this month in regards to their future actions with the four of pentacles they're definitely going to realize because of the embrance here at the center they're realizing your worth and i feel like if they do decide to take it to the next level or even ask you to be official i feel like it has more to do with their jealousy being triggered because <laughs> they're not wanting you to go anywhere okay so keep that in mind now in regards to the old flame here in cancer we have the world card the Eight of Swords, and the Five of Cups. So how they feel about you with the World card, they understand that this relationship has come to its end. Um, why they feel this way, they feel like they can't progress. They feel like you guys are better off going your separate ways. Yes, they do feel uh, reminiscent of the relationship. They do think of you. But again, in regards to their future actions with the Five of Cups, I don't see them reaching out or trying to contact you. So... My advice is just keep it pushing in regards to that old flame cancer. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my Leos. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, one more shuffle. All right, here we go, Leo. In regards to new love, we have the Ace of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. Okay, so in regards to how they see you, they're definitely seeing you as the person that is ideal to what they've been looking for when it comes to partnerships and relationships. Um, how they feel about you, I feel like, especially with the Ace of Cups here, I feel like they do have feelings for you, Leo, but they're being reserved about it. And they're being reserved about it because... With the Three of Swords, it indicates to me that either you could have had uh, a relationship with them. I know this is for new love, but that's what's coming through. You could have restarted something. Um, it could have been a situation where you guys kind of were dealing with each other and you guys kind of just went your separate ways and all of a sudden you guys are dealing with each other again. Or you were, in fact, in a relationship with them in the past and it's almost like destiny kind of brought you guys together right now and I feel like with the Ace of Cups and the Four of Pentacles, you may be wondering or asking what their intentions are, Leo. Um, obviously, their intentions is to get in your good graces and to give it another go because I feel like they haven't completely moved on from you. So there is a restart. I keep, I keep hearing restart. So again, if they're being a little bit standoffish or not being completely transparent in regards to their feelings for you, I feel like they're trying to protect their heart. They're trying not to be let down. Um, but I feel like this is something that they're currently working through or healing from where it's kind of the situation where I tell clients, if there is some type of hurt or past experience that was a bit traumatizing or hurtful or painful, you cannot begin or let's give it another go if you haven't completely forgiven. So I feel like there is certain aspects to this dynamic or connection that you're still working through Leo or that they are still working through. Um, and one of the biggest ones is they're not trying to get hurt again. Um, and that's why they're being reserved about their feelings for you. But I do feel like they will be communicating or expressing their true intentions for you. They just want to kind of see where it's going, um, so that they can feel more supported. So they can feel more supported with the universe and be vulnerable basically because i feel like this person's scared of being vulnerable so um again give it time and try the best you can to maintain that communication open 
um, so that they can fully feel comfortable expressing their feelings for you, Leo. All right. In regards to your old flame, we have the two of pentacles here, the ten of swords, and the hierophant. Um, again, it's kind of giving me the message of what I got right now uh, for the new love. The two of pentacles, it's almost like the dynamic is changing right now or there's some type of transition that's happening with the ten of swords right at the center. It could have been an end to a cycle uh, or you guys could be in separation right now. However, I feel like this person needed that so that they can fully understand what it takes and what it means when it comes to coming into union with someone or coming into union with you. Um, so it's the realization of kind of the situation of needing time apart because it makes the heart grow fonder. I definitely do see that. And I feel like as we progress throughout the month, they're going to be coming back around and professing their intentions of wanting to give it another go, especially because the Hierophant is here with the Ten of Swords. You're closing out the cycle of instability, or maybe this person is closing a cycle in their life where they felt not emotionally mature enough to actually maintain a serious relationship whereas now they're realizing that part of their life or the being single or the having fun is come to an end and now they're looking for something more consistent they're looking for something more structured um and a higher elevation of commitment or this is them realizing that they're ready to commit okay so I feel like for a lot of you Leos, you're going to be revisiting the past or the past is going to be visiting you. <laughs> All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love and romance for the month of May 2024. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys are interested in any of the services that we provide or any of the journals or manifestation books, you can find all of that on the description box below. If you're a new subscriber or a new viewer, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. All right, here we go. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay. In regards to, ooh, we have a lot of, Three of Swords is coming out a lot. I feel like it has more to do with healing energy, you guys, so... This is a positive. Okay, so in regards to your new love, Virgo, how they see you at the Three of Swords, you guys could have recently broken up or recently there was a separation that is currently happening. Now, how they feel with the, with the Page of Wands, I feel like, sorry, the Knight of Wands, I feel like they're coming back around. So it could have been a situation that you guys had a falling out or there was a temporary separation, but I do see a rekindling of this connection. For others of you, I feel like there could have been a situation where you were dealing with someone that was still dealing with the third party. Like it could have been an ex or someone that they kept in their energy. Um, and that pulling away had more to do with you came, you came into their life at the exact moment where they were taking that space from each other, but they weren't emotionally ready to move on. And I feel like this person has came back into their life. Um, so if you feel like this person has been very inconsistent or like they're pulling away, what they're showing me is for those of you guys that are resonating with this, this part, the reason why this person is pulling away is because they are entertaining a person from their past that has came back into their life. Okay. So take what resonates. Now, when we're talking about your old flame Virgo, we have the six of swords, the tower and the eight of wands. So they were being forced to, they were being forced to realize or they had an aha moment. For some of you guys, you're moving on. Maybe you've been posting, maybe you've been on social media. They're seeing that you're moving on and this has really triggered them. I feel like what I'm hearing is like I was not expecting Virgo to move on either that quickly or to make it so public, publicly known. Um... And this is really what's triggering. I feel like they were already moving on. But with the tower here and the eight of wands, you're going to be hearing from your ex for sure, Virgo. Um, but I feel like what the trigger is here is the fact that they can't stand the fact that you're free or they can't stand the fact that you're moving on. That's what's triggering them. That's what's making them reach out. It's as you guys can see here, we have no cups. So it's not based on emotion. It has more to do with ego and pride 
that they see you moving on. It's kind of like that fuck boy or fuck girl energy where they see you moving on and they're like, okay, it's time to reach out to Virgo just to see if I can go back into their life. So my advice is don't entertain that Virgo. Move on from that energy, okay? All right, let's move on here. Let's see what's going on with Libra. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love and romance for the month of May 2024. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my Libras. Three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. One more shuffle. All right, here we go, Libra. We're starting off here with the Seven of Wands, the Eight of Swords, sorry, uh, the Nine of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. So someone recently could have blocked someone. So it could have been you, Libra, or it could have been them that they recently blocked you. And the reason for this is because with the nine of swords here, I feel like you guys are definitely, it's almost like, it's almost like them realizing that this is like a never ending cycle. So you could be dealing with someone that maybe you've had a tendency of like breaking up, making up, breaking up, making up type of thing. Um, I feel like they only did this as a stance, meaning if they recently blocked you or they're recently not communicating with you, they're trying to do this to trigger you to take some type of action. And my advice is do not reach out, Libra. So if they've ghosted you or they haven't contacted you or they have you blocked um, or you recently found out that they have you blocked like on social media or something like that, don't text them don't reach out to them okay and the reason i'm saying this is their future actions with the wheel of fortune i see them coming back around but only if you stand in your value and your worth this is going to be very important now if this is someone that you recently started dealing with and they're giving you very much like hot and cold type of energy pull away from this person because this person is an immature type of person and you don't want to deal with that okay um but again if it is a situation where you're already emotionally invested and you've been trying to or maybe even reaching out to them, you're not going to get them to give you the attention or to respond to you as your absence would do. So my advice is take a step back, focus on yourself, Libra, allow them to process whatever they need to process. They will be reaching out to you. But I feel like the more you try to chase or the more you try to reach out, it's going to continuously keep being inconsistent and you don't want someone to think that you're okay with inconsistency, okay? Now, in regards to your old flame, we have the five of swords here, the two of cups and the death card. It's time to realize that this has come to an end, Libra. With the five of swords, I feel like this, this person pops into your life whenever they see that you're moving on. Uh, or if you post on social media and they see that you're having a good time or you're out and about, this is when they reach out. So it's giving me very much narcissistic energy. It's a person that is extremely egocentric or selfish, and they just don't want you to move on because they assume that you're going to sit there and wait for them. Uh, my advice is move on from this, especially with the death card. It's time to accept um, that this person is not going to be what you want because this person is just not meant for you. Um, especially what I'm hearing is don't allow them to breadcrumb you. All right, Libra. And I feel like you guys are going to be going through these types of challenges because this is an aspect of yourself that needs to be healed. Keep in mind, self note is in Libra. So again, it's about balance and knowing the give and take energy. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. In regards to love and romance for the month of May 2024, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go, Scorpio. We have the Knight of Wands, the Three of Cups, and the Nine of Cups in reverse. Okay, so this connection could have progressively been very, very like physical. You definitely are vibing with each other and felt a very physical connection. However, I feel like the person you're dealing with if they're giving you hot and cold or they ghost you for like a day or two and then out of nowhere they pop back up, this is a person that has a tendency of plain manipulation tactics only to get people emotionally invested in them. But I feel like what they're really offering is empty cups, meaning they're not being genuine or authentic in their feelings for you. And this could be a person that is dealing with multiple people. So my advice is 
keep it pushing. This is giving very much like, um, you know, fuck girl, fuck boy type of energy. This is a person that entertains multiple people. It's a person that always offers an empty vessel. So you don't want to put your energy and effort towards this. Do not stress about the Scorpio. Keep it pushing. Now, in regards to your old flame, Scorpio, we have the Ace of Swords, we have the Ten of Pentacles, and we have the Lovers. Oh, I definitely see some type of reconnection for some of you guys. For others of you, there is information that's going to be coming through in regards to the person from your past. Now, keep in mind, this is two different messages that I'm getting. For some of you guys, if there was a recent separation or breakup, um, and it almost came to you out of nowhere, you weren't expecting it, you guys felt like... You, or at least you felt like things were going progressively well. You may get information at the end of this month that this person is being with someone else. Just know that if you found that out or will be finding that out, just know that this person is, it's not someone recent. It's someone that they were dealing with behind your back. And I feel like you're getting that clarity that, you know, the feeling, it's almost giving me this feeling of like being nauseated because you feel like something is off. You just don't know what it is. I feel like you're you're getting that clarity by the end of this month. So again, keep that in mind. If you do find out that the person you were dealing with is dealing with someone else, don't think it came out of nowhere. They were definitely entertaining that person whilst they were being with you. Now, the second message that I was getting here is for those of you guys that um, there was a breakup or separation and you haven't heard from the person but lately, they've been constantly on your mind or you've been seeing signs or you've been seeing their name. Just know that right now, like destiny is taking over and there is things that are still left undone or unsaid. I feel like you guys are definitely not done with this person because I do feel communication opens up and it's almost like you guys are getting the opportunity to reconnect and to try to make right in this connection. Now, this is only for those of you guys that were in a healthy relationship, but it just seemed like you guys were being pulled towards two different directions. I feel like you're being guided right now to kind of be not so much the support system, but to be there for each other, because I feel like there's certain healing aspects to you and to them that needs to happen, but this connection is still not over. It hasn't served its purpose yet. For some of you guys, if there is a reconnection that's happening, and again, we're talking about higher vibration. I'm not talking about lower vibration. Um, you guys will be getting the opportunity of starting a new chapter in this connection. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of May 2024. Let's see what's going on with my Saggies. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Okay, here we go. We have the Two of Wands, we have the Eight of Pentacles, and we have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a fire energy. Could be another Sagittarius like yourself, a Leo or an Aries. For others of you, could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Uh, what I'm seeing here is in regards to how they see you with the Two of Wands, they're definitely thinking of the future. They're definitely putting the effort and being willing to put in the effort. Now, one of the things that's coming through is do not play mind games with this person, Sagittarius, because I feel like this person is very methodical in the way how they how they deal with people that are prospective suitors for them um and this is a person that is definitely not looking for like to play around or anything like that i feel like this is a very honorable type of energy so if you recently connected with someone they seem a little bit like i wouldn't want to say shy but they seem a little bit like you kind of have to figure them out um it's not so much that they're not interested in you. They're definitely interested in you, Sagittarius. I just feel like they're taking their time in getting to know you. And again, this is a person that's methodical when it comes to relationships. So they're smart about the people they choose. Um, and I do see that there could be potential progression here. It could be something that actually, you know, uh, takes time to build, but it's definitely something that will be solid. So again, if you're on the higher vibration, don't try to do manipulation tactics or mind games. Um, especially because you, I feel very strongly, like some of you guys feel like, is this person really interested in me? Um, 
are they really interested or are they like playing the field type of energy? And I feel like because of that confusion, you can step into lower vibration and start to try to play mind games just to feel them out. This is a person that the moment they sniff that out, they walk away because they don't like to play games. So again, just give them time to open up a little bit more and you're definitely going to know that they are very interested in you because they will show you through actions, Sagittarius. All right, in regards to Old Flame, we have the Four of Swords, we have the Six of Wands, and we have the Queen of Swords here. So in regards to how they feel about you, Four of Swords, they are emotionally disconnected from this connection. Um, they feel this way because for some of you guys, it could have been like you've experienced or recently noticed that they're getting a lot of attention, especially those of you guys that have a tendency of stalking them on social media or you're watching them. I feel like their ego is being inflated right now and they may be getting a little bit more attention that they're accustomed to. So they're like rushing into moving on from you or they are pretending or portraying online that they're like living their best life. And it's only because they're getting a little bit more attention than they usually do. So again, um, with the Queen of Swords here, definitely keep your guard up. Um, I wouldn't necessarily entertain this type of energy because... Again, if a person gets, you know, their head that swollen when they're getting attention and they really don't, um, and you're usually the one that captivates or that gets the attention, yet you still remain humble, what can you expect from a person that is temporarily getting a little bit of attention and it's going to their head? Do you get what I'm saying? So move on from this energy, Sagittarius. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Capricorns. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love and romance for the month of May 2024. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards for new love. Give me three cards for old flame. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my Cappies here. Three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Okay, one more shuffle. Here we go, Cappy. All right, we have the King of Cups, we have the Seven of Swords, and we have the Page of Swords. Okay, so for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with a Water Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh, for others of you, it could be another Earth Energy or Air Energy as well. Doesn't have to be their Sun, could be their Moon or Rising. Now, how they see you at the pay, uh, sorry, with the King of Cups, I feel like they see you a bit reserved right now, Capricorn. And for for some of you guys, what I'm hearing is like they're either aware or they're aware that you're dealing with multiple people or they understand that you have no problem getting attention. And I feel like this person could feel a little bit threatened. So if there was constant communication and all of a sudden it kind of like there's been a bit of an inconsistency, I'm going to be honest. I feel like the reason for it is because they're in their feet. They're in their feelings about this. Okay. Uh, with the King of Cups, what's standing out a lot to me is the water energy and the water is emotion. So I feel like they're being overly emotional, but they're not being honest with themselves about how they feel about you. And it could be potentially with the Page of Pentacles here. It takes them a while to process emotion. So what I mean by that is you could be dealing with the person that has experienced a lot of trauma in their life or a very difficult and rough childhood that whenever they feel emotion to them, it almost like it resonates or connects with vulnerability or weakness. And that's something that they don't allow themselves to feel or to be in that position. They don't want to be vulnerable. So I feel like they may be acting a bit cold or a bit distant. And the reason for it is because they're actually in their feelings about it. But the only way they know how to show those feelings is by pretending like they're not feeling anything, if that makes sense. Because it's almost like you're probably wondering, like, why aren't they texting me? Or why haven't they communicated? Um, is it because they moved on? Is it because they're dealing with other people? But it has more to do with them not wanting to be honest with the feelings that they have for you. Only because with the Page of Pentacles, it takes them a while. It's a process for them. So again, if you are dealing with this type of energy or you resonate with this message, just understand, try the best you can, Capricorn, not to be in your head about it. It has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with them. So the ultimate message here, it is really up to you if you want to be patient with this person or if you want to keep it pushing. All right, Capricorn, in regards to the old flame, we have the Knight of Wands, 
the four of cups and the strength card here. Okay, so Capricorn, I feel like there is people that, uh, or your ex or the person that you were dealing with from the past, I feel like the reason why they keep popping up is because they still want you in their life. However, it's almost like what I'm hearing is like breadcrumbing you and it could be because potentially they want to know if you still have feelings for them. So it's giving me very much the vibe of the the reading that I did for you guys, right? Where they don't want to reveal their feelings because they see it as vulnerability. Whereas in this aspect with the ex person, I feel like they don't want to reveal that they're still into you, that they're still passionate about you. And the reason why they don't want to reveal that, it's almost like they don't want to give you the upper hand. This is a person that is sticking to their ego. So could be potentially the reason why they're not reaching out or if they have reached out, they seem like they're acting very nonchalant about it. It has more to do with the fact that they don't want you to think like you can tame them. And of course we know Capricorns can tame. <laughs> so I feel like this person is still has feelings, still has reserved feelings for you. But I feel like the reason why they are being or trying to pretend that they're very nonchalant is because they don't want you to know that they still have feelings for you. If not careful also, um, and they're trying to come back or they're trying to, you know, connect with you at the end of this month, my advice is try the best you can to figure out if it's something that you want to continuously keep pursuing or if you should move on from it. Because I feel like the only thing that you're going to get from this ex person is probably intense passion and nights. Um, I still feel like they're immature and there is no consistency there. Okay. All right, my lovelies, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel if you're new so you can get notified of the most recent videos going up. All right, here we go, Aquarius. We have the Six of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and wow, and the Four of Wands. All right, so if you're recently dealing with someone, Aquarius, I feel like this is definitely something that it's a connection that is going to be strongly based on friendship. So I feel like this person is going to make you feel like you could be truly your authentic self around them. And they're going to feel very accepted by you. They're going to be themselves and be authentic in this connection. I feel like this is what creates very, very important and strong connections when you're able to build something, like take your time getting to know each other. Um, if you feel like this person could, you know, potentially maybe it takes them a while to uh, fully open up or like, or maybe you, you're feeling like you can't fully open up because you need time. Take your time, Aquarius. And the reason I'm saying this is with the Six of Cups, Ace of Cups, and Four of Wands, this has a promise for something long-term. I feel like some of you guys, um, if you do watch my other social medias on Instagram and on my Snapchat, I had uploaded a video for the month uh, in regards to love. And I did see for a lot of you Aquarians, you're going to be dealing with soulmate connections, okay? And the reason why is because, again, Pluto is in your sign. And when Pluto enters a sign, it usually does bring about either karmic connections or soulmate ties and soulmate connections. With the Six of Cups, this is definitely someone that has been connected with you in a previous lifetime. Ace of Cups, genuine, authentic love. And the Four of Wands, the building of something long-term and a solid foundation. So if you are recently dealing with someone that... Um, you recently connected, whether it's like four months ago or up until now recently, I feel like you're going to feel very comfortable around this person. It's almost like you guys have known each other for a very long time and it does have the promise for something long term. Beautiful energy here, Aquarius. Now, in regards to Old Flame, we have the Ace of Swords, the Seven, sorry, the Nine of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. So what they're showing me here in regards to your old flame with the Ace of Swords in regards to how they feel about you, I feel like they're going to be opening up to you, uh, Aquarius. They're going to be honest about certain things that went wrong in the relationship. However, 
what I am hearing is them taking some type of self-responsibility in regards to why things ended the way they did. However, I don't feel like they're going to actively pursue the wanting to rekindle this connection or this relationship. They've realized that you guys are better off your own separate ways, so I don't see any type of reconnection here, but I do see clarity. So for those of you guys that ended a relationship where it almost felt like there were certain things left undone or unsaid, you're getting the opportunity to clear the air and to basically what they're showing me is you're getting the closure that you need, Aquarius. So uh, take that for what it is. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love and romance. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love and romance. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Okay, one more shuffle. Okay, here we go, Pisces. Okay, we have the tower card here, the page of wands, sorry, the page of pentacles and the six of wands. Okay. Pisces, if you haven't met anyone recently, I feel like you're going to be, you're going to be introduced to someone. Um, and this could potentially be someone that is introduced to you through your social friends, your social network, or it could be family as well. However, what I'm seeing here is with the tower, I feel like the connection, the physical chemistry, like the moment you guys lie or lay uh, eyes on each other, there's going to be almost like a feeling of like your whole world is being shook. Um, with the Page of Pentacles, though, I, I do highly encourage you to try the best you can to take your time in getting to know one another. Because I'm going to be honest with the Six of Wands, it's a very intense and passionate connection. I feel like it's giving me very much the vibes of like what I would get with the Tower and the Lovers, which is like a whirlwind romance. But with the Page of Pentacles, there's lack of stability or, or lack of grounding. So again, you don't want to rush into anything because even though the connection may feel very strong, you want it to solidify. OK, now, if you're about that and you're willing to just experience a whirlwind romance, then go for it. But if what you're looking for is a true connection, take your time in getting to know each other. And what I mean by that is take your time before taking it to the next level on a physical aspect, okay? Now, for others of you, uh, with the Tower and the Page of Pentacles, I feel like you could have been dealing with someone that was, or recently, uh, you haven't heard from, or it's almost like they fell off the map or they ghosted you, but I do feel that they're coming back around and you will be hearing from them by the end of this month. And I'm going to be honest with the tower. I feel like it was an, it was, it had nothing to do with them. I feel like it had more to do with what they're dealing with in their everyday life. All right. Now in regards to old flame Pisces, we have the queen of swords, the four of swords and the knight of pentacles. So in regards to what they feel about you, queen of swords, I feel like they, they're guarded. Um, it's almost like this, this, separation or this breakup made them see things from a different perspective and it's like they're being more clear about what went wrong but they're also realizing that it's time for you guys to go your own separate ways and i already see them kind of moving on from that situation or moving on from the need to reach out or connect with you so i don't see communication happening here if anything, I feel like they may currently be dealing with someone recently and that's what's kind of giving them the push to move on from you. So the advice here, uh, Pisces, if you were looking to rekindle something with an ex-lover, it's time to move on and let go of that energy. All right. And finally, let's see what's going on with Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. In regards to love and romance, three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Let's see what's going on with Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go, Aries. We're starting off here with the page of... Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, interesting. You got the same cards as Pisces in regards to their old flame. So for some of you guys, you could be dealing with the Pisces. Uh, for others of you... In regards to this new person that you're dealing, how they see you, I feel like 
they definitely see you as someone much more mature than what they initially thought. So what I mean by that is you could have been very childlike, which which is definitely Aries energy. Um, but I feel like they seen that as a, I don't want to say turn off, but it almost like there is something about you that they probably thought their perception of you was probably that they're, that you were a bit immature. However, how they feel about you with the Queen of Swords, I'm going to be honest, I feel like they're realizing that there's more to you and getting to know you. However, I feel like this person is not ready to be in any type of relationship, Aries. So if you are dealing with someone where they were giving you a lot of attention and all of a sudden they haven't, the reason for that is because maybe they're realizing that you're very intense um, and intensity is not something that comes natural to them. So it could have kind of threw them off or they're just accepting that at this point in time, they're not ready for any type of commitment or any type of, I don't see them settling anytime soon. So, um, and in regards to how they will progress or the, you know, the actions towards you with the four of swords, I don't see them taking any action. So my advice is, uh, keep it pushing in regards to this new person, Aries. Now, in regards to Old Flame, we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, and the Page of Wands. Okay. Um, so if you were dealing with an ex-partner or a person from your past, um, I feel like what they're showing me here is they're going through this transition right now where they're realizing that they messed up or they're realizing that they do miss you. However, they're still holding back, but I feel like as the month progresses, Aries, you're definitely going to be hearing from them. I'm going to be honest with the Knight of Pentacles here. I feel like you're dealing with the person that is very much, they're more methodical than emotional. So it's like they're processing their emotions, but they're also thinking, okay, what's the best course of action for me at this point in time? So that's why it's taking them a bit to reach out or a bit for them to communicate. Just know that when they do communicate, Aries, they are definitely communicating because they want to actively pursue this connection to see if there could be some type of rekindling or some type of reconnection here. And again, I feel like they are in their feelings right now. They are missing you. You do pop in their head. Um, but the reason why you haven't heard from them is again, I feel like I hear like they're very methodical and they're trying to process, okay, are the feelings that I have for Aries strong enough that I can't ignore it and I have to literally reach out to see like if, you know, if we can give it another go or can I just passively move on from this emotion that could be temporarily. And I feel like it's going to overpower them where they realize, okay, no, I do still have feelings for Aries and I do want them in my life and I want to see if we can actually rekindle or ignite the flame and see if we can actually make something happen. So again, a lot of communication happening back and forth, but I see it more towards the end of the month, Aries. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. Like, share, and comment, and I will see you guys soon. Until then, bye for now.